Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, we're going to be taking this terra planter and turning it into this. But before we get to that, I'm going to show you how I set up the Terra Planter and we'll do a time lapse. Straight off the bat, this is actually a clone Terra Planter. I did an unboxing and I've also done a DIY build of a DIY Terra Planter if you'd like to check that out. I'll have links underneath in the description if you want to click straight over to those videos. The plants that I got for this video were assorted ferns from Bunnings. The ferns are maidenhair ferns and I'm also attaching some orchids. I think the orchid that I got was a moth orchid. Towards the end of the video, I'm also going to start another two terra planter grows using a wax plant or a hoya and some Venus fly traps. So these are all plants that are recommended by the Terra Planter or Teva Planter now website. So to attach the plants, all I did was I took them out of their pots. Now they were in a peat medium, I believe. This is pretty ideal uh, for what our purpose is here. As you tie them up, the peat will stay moist until the roots find their way over to that Terra Planter. The terra planter will seep water out into this medium to keep it moist in the meantime. I just tied all these ferns and the orchid to the surface of the terra planter with jute twine. So nothing special. It's literally just wrapped around the root ball of all of the ferns and orchids and holds the root ball in place while we wait for those roots to establish on the surface of the terra planter. Once I had all the plants attached, I threw it under a grow light. Now I've done a review on this grow light, I'll link the video, and I added in just plain water to start with. Uh, throughout the grow, I progressively stepped up the amount of nutrients and I used a grow high nitrogen hydroponic nutrient for this grow. And this is the result, and what a result. Uh, my time-lapse camera failed at the start and at the end of the grow. So that time-lapse that you saw was actually uh, the midpoint of the grow. The grow all up, this was 46 days. So really slow growing and not the most exciting thing to watch on a time-lapse, uh, but this light performed really well uh, with the requirements of these plants. These are all under canopy plants, so really low light requirements. And at this point, I've stepped these plants up to full strength hydroponic nutrient. 2.0 EC high nitrogen 
grow nutrient. I pH balanced the nutrient as I topped it up and I really only had to top it up like once a week. And it was only really getting down to about the level of the plant's roots. So I really haven't had a problem with this running dry at all. And realistically, uh, you could go longer between top ups than I did. I just managed to keep on top of it. So as you can see, the roots have started making their way along the surface of the terracotta terra planter and the plant is starting to become a medialist system. Once those roots get a hold on that terra planter, uh, the media really isn't required as long as you keep refilling that terra planter. Now, if you search for terra planter videos on YouTube, you'll come across a few people that have already got cloned terra planters and have started doing experiments with them. And one of those videos that I came across was Sam from Melbourne's terra planter with a wax plant, otherwise known as a Hoya. And as you can see in her video here, the wax plant's roots have started making their way down the outside texture of the terra planter in a really unique way that you can actually see in the terra planter commercials as well. And I really wanted to achieve this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up two terra planters with Hoyas or wax plants. Now these ones are a slightly different species to the one that Sam was using in her video. Uh, her video is linked below by the way. The leaves are a larger leaf. We'll see if we can have some luck with these and Venus fly traps. Uh, I was obsessed with these as a kid. I mean, there's nothing more prehistoric than a plant that eats insects. And now we're gonna grow them in the most modern way possible. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and set up these two terra planters for the next video. And this time I'll try and get a full time lapse for you of this system in growth. Mm -hmm. 